The Battle of Galicia, also known as the Battle of Lemberg, was a major battle between Russia and Austria-Hungary during the early stages of World War I in 1914. In the course of the battle, the Austro-Hungarian armies were severely defeated and forced out of Galicia, while the Russians captured Lemberg and, for approximately nine months, ruled eastern Galicia until their defeat at Gorlis and Tarno. Background When war came the Austro-Hungarian chief of staff Franz Konrad von Hotzendorf planned to launch an offensive into Russian Poland with his northern armies the first and fourth. The Russians would far outnumber the Central Powers in the East, especially the Austro-Hungarian armies, which were Russia's primary target. Conrad believed that their best option was an early advance into southern Poland where the Russians would be concentrating their newly mobilized units. Conrad knew that his German allies were committed to an offensive in the West to defeat the French in the first 10 weeks of the war. Only the German 8th Army would be in the East, where they would stand on the defensive in East Prussia. However, their alliance with the French obliged the Russians to attack the Germans promptly, so substantial Russian forces would be sent to invade East Prussia. The 1st and 4th Austro-Hungarian armies would advance into Poland without direct German support. By 23 August 1914 Conrad's 1st, 3rd, and 4th armies were concentrated in Galicia along a front of 280 km 170 miles. On 2 August Grand Duke Nicholas Nikolaevich, a second cousin of Emperor Nicholas II who had made his career in the army, was made commander-in-chief. He had an excellent reputation for training troops, but had never commanded a field army and was staggered by his unexpected elevation. The Russian 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 8th armies were assigned to Galicia. The Russian war plan called for Nikolai Ivanov, the Russian commander of the Southwest Front, to counter an anticipated Austro-Hungarian offensive thrusting eastward from Lemberg. The 3rd and 8th armies would mount an offensive into eastern Galicia. The Russians could bring 260 trains a day to the front, compared to the Austro-Hungarians 152. Topic: <laughs> Battles. The Austro-Hungarian First Army under Viktor Dankl was moving in the north towards Lublin. Dankl struck and drove back Baron Zaltz's Russian Fourth Army in what would be known as the Battle of Krasnik. Dankl's army was able to capture 6,000 prisoners. To the right of Dankl the Austro-Hungarian Fourth Army, aiming at Chom, drove back the Russian Fifth Army under Pavel Plev in the Battle of Komoro, capturing 20,000 prisoners and inflicting heavy casualties. However, a planned Austrian enveloping movement around the Russian army failed. As the Russians were being driven back along the northern front, the Austrian Third Army and Army Group Kovis made a simultaneous advance against Ivanov's left wing. Along the southern front, Ivanov had the Russian Third Army under Nikolai Ruski and the Russian Eighth Army under Alexei Brusilov. Brusilov and Rushki routed the Austro-Hungarians so thoroughly that even though poor roads necessitated that the Russians halt for two days, the Austrians could not regroup to halt the Russian drive. This attack became known as the Battle of Gini La Lipa. With the entire Third Army and Kovis group in full retreat, Conrad pulled forces away from the northern front which he believed had been sufficiently defeated. In fact, the Russians north of Lemberg were still a potential threat. Ivanov ordered Plev's 5th Army to attack and drove the Austrians back as they began to shift forces to the south in an engagement known as the Battle of Rava Ruska. The Austrian 2nd Army was quickly recalled from Serbia, but it was too late and the entire Austrian front collapsed in Galicia, and the Russians took control of Lemberg. <laughs> Results Holger Herwig estimates Austro-Hungarian losses of 100,000 dead, 220,000 wounded and 100,000 captured. According to Prit Buttar, the Austro-Hungarian army lost 324,000 men in Galicia, including 130,000 as prisoners, while the Russians lost 225,000 men, of which 40,000 were captured. Other authors estimate 400,000 Austro-Hungarian losses, or one-third of the Austro-Hungarian Army's combat effectives. 
and 250,000 for the Russians. The Russians had pushed the front 160 kilometers, 100 miles into the Carpathian Mountains, completely surrounded the Austrian fortress of Chemischel and started a siege of Chemischel which lasted for over a 100 days. The battle severely damaged the Austro-Hungarian army, destroyed a large portion of its trained officers, and crippled Austria. Though the Russians had been utterly crushed at the Battle of Tannenberg, their victory at Lemberg prevented that defeat from fully taking its toll on Russian public opinion. <laughs> <laughs> Order of battle Topic: Russian forces. Russian Southwestern Front. Commander in Chief: Nikolai Ivanov, Chief of Staff: Mikhail Alexeyev. Fourth Army Commander: Anton von Saltzer, replaced by Alexeyevich after the Battle of Krasnik. Grenadiers Corps: 14. Corps: 16. Corps. Fifth Army Commander: Pavel Plev. 5th Corps 17. Corps 19. Corps 25. Corps 3rd Army, Commander, Nikolai Ruski, Staff Officers, Vladimir Mikhailovich Dragomirov, Nikolai Dukonin, Mikhail Bonchbruovich IX. Corps 10th Corps 11. Corps 21. Corps 8th Army, Commander, Alexei Brusilov, Staff Officers Anton Ivanovich Denikin, Quartermaster 7. Corps 8. Corps 12. Corps 24. Corps Austro-Hungarian forces Army Group Kummer 7. Cavalry Division Landsturm Forces First Army Commander Viktor Dankel First Corps Krakow 5 and 46 Infantry Divisions Fifth Corps Bratislava 14 33 and 37 Infantry Divisions Tenth Corps Chemischel 2 24 and 45 Infantry Divisions 12 Infantry Division 3. Cavalry Division 9. Cavalry Division 4th Army. Commander, Moritz von Orfenberg 2nd, Corps Wien 4, 13, and 25. Infantry Divisions Vi. Corps Kaschau 15, 27, and 39. Infantry Divisions IX. Corps Light Merits 10, and 26. Infantry Divisions 17. Corps formed on outbreak of war 19. Infantry Division 6. Cavalry Division 10. Cavalry Division 3rd Army. Commander, Rudolf Brudermann 11. Corps Lemberg 30. Infantry Division 14. Corps Innsbruck 3, 8, and 44. Infantry Division 23. Infantry Division 41. Infantry Division 2. Cavalry Division 4. Cavalry Division Army Group Kovis later part of the 2nd Army 3. Corps Graz 6, 28, and 22. Infantry Divisions 12. Corps Hermannstadt 16, 35, and 38. Infantry Divisions 11. Infantry Division 43. Infantry Division 20. Infantry Division 1. Cavalry Division 5. Cavalry Division 8. Cavalry Division <laughs>